everyone. My name is Hongquan Wang from Agriculture and Agri Food Canada. Today, my talk is on estimation of crop height and digital biomass from UAV based multi spectral imagery. As we know, the crop growth health condition is important in decision making about the irrigation, fertilization, and other important agricultural practice. The traditional Sampling approach is destructive, time and labor consuming. In comparison, the UAV based multi spectral imaging system provides us a powerful tool to monitor the crop growth condition at various temporal and spatial scale. The objective of this study is to investigate the potential of UAV based multi spectral sensor to monitor alfalfa canopy height and biomass. It will end the breeder uh, for efficient trade estimation and cultural selection. It will finally contribute to the uh, precision and digital agriculture transformation. In this study, we acquired the uh, multispectral data using the Red Hat P sensor. We created the author mosaic using the structure from motion algorithm. Then we derived the DSM DTM, from which we calculated the canopy height model, which will be used to characterize the crop height. Secondly, we also calculated the uh, NDVI, which will be used to characterize the uh, crop biomass. Following this, we do the sensitivity analyze and develop the retrieval algorithm. And here is the multispectral data we collected on October 2022. 20, uh, the left side is the RGB illustration, the right side is the NDVI. This data includes uh, six different beds covered with RGB, red ends, and near infrared. We plotted 98 alfalfa lie uh, over three radiomized blocks. The biomass were measured two times. The crop height were measured one time. And here is the height retrieved from the UAV multispectral data. We do the subtraction between the DSM, DTM in order to calculate the canopy height model. And from the canopy height model, we can capture the spatial variability of the crop height within a single field and across the different fields. The retrieval height were validated with the ground measurements, but we observed a strong underestimation issue over the results. This is understandable because the UAV multispectral data using all the available pixel within a single field. But the traditional sampling approach only selected a limited number of sample for the broad measurements. Secondly, we analyze the sensitivity of the NDVI to above growth biomass. Also, there is a temporal gap between the growth measurement and the UV data acquisition. We observe the strong correlation between the NDVI and the growth measured biomass. So this will allow us to develop the statistical model to accurately retrieve the uh, crop biomass. Then we come to our uh, conclusion. This study demonstrates that the UAV-based multispectral sensor can monitor the uh, forage crop height and digital biomass. We found a reasonable correlation between the retrieval uh, height and growth measurements also, we observed a significant underestimation about the height. The traditional NDVI seems very promising to characterize the fresh biomass. In the next step, we will develop the empirical model in order to accurately retrieve the spatial and temporal distribution of the alfalfa height and biomass. Thank you for your time and attention. Welcome, any question.